Hello friends, this is Raj Sastri from Raj Option Trading. Today is August 23, 2021. I want to talk about stock and option trading ideas for the week of August 23. With that, let's get started. We will leverage a TTM squeeze indicator from John Carter that will tell you is it a good time to buy stock, call or call options. So with that, let's get started here. Um, you know, what is TTM squeeze, you may ask? So TTM squeeze is really an indicator that tells you if the stock is ready to roll. So you know, typically a stock stays in a quiet mode for a while or a trading range for a while. But when it's about to start rolling, that's when this indicator will tell you is it a good time to buy. So with that, uh, let's get started here. So I got here a chart of a company here, CLF. So just to illustrate how TTM squeeze uh, works, at the top, I got a one year chart here. Typically, it's always good to look at a multi um, period chart. I got a one year, one day here that tells me about a little bit shorter term, one day type you know, in, uh, indications. And I got here a two year, three day chart that tells a little bit longer term picture. And then we got a five year weekly chart even longer term and then we got here a 10 year monthly chart this will clearly tell us you know what's the longer term horizon as you look at the stock chart here in the shorter term clf is clearly bullish doing well almost at the top but as you look through the two year almost similar picture here but as you go into 10 year monthly chart it tells you clf is nowhere near its all-time high which was 91 while ago. So this is why it tells you um, how much room is there to for this stock to move by looking at the historic trend. And then we got here three different um, mini lower charts here. The first one is TTM squeeze chart. That will tell you, um, you know, a series of things. For example, as you look through here, we got series of uh, uh, green dots here then a, then a red dot the first red dot that comes through <clears throat> that will tell you at this point there is a tight compression of volatility and right now the bollinger band is within curtain channel so that's when it tells you hey, you know what it could be good to buy so as as you see the red dot here pay attention to the shorter term a wave here if the a wave is above zero in this case it's uh, barely above zero then it's a positive or a bullish indication but more importantly you got to look at the longer term c wave here the third lower chart here is the longer term c wave so here as you can squint through here and see um, when these uh, dots are forming, C wave is above zero. That tells you coast is clear, you can go long, you can buy stock itself or call or call option. So as you scan through here, we got one more wave, one more uh, red dot forming here. This also indicates tight compression of volatility. At this point, stock has already gone up a little bit as you can see here. But if you look through the shorter term A wave, it's clearly above zero and the longer term C wave is clearly above zero. It tells you coast is clear. You can uh, go and uh, buy stock or call option. Similarly, as you scan through here, we got one more wave forming here. As the wave is forming, if you look at the shorter term A wave, it's uh, below zero. That's a little bit negative indication. As you look through here, longer term C wave, it's as you can see, it's a little bit choppy here. So that's why you know you don't need to take this call. If you want to short or buy put option, you can, but you can also pass the signal and go forward. And similarly, as you look through here, we got one more dot and you know similar methodology right now. As you can see here, A wave is uh, about zero, C wave is about zero, you can go long. So that's the thought process. Typically, you, you pay attention to the squeeze chart. The moment you see a red dot after a series of blue dots, that tells you um, at this point there's a tight compression of volatility and Bollinger Band is within the Kultner channel and market is going to shift. That's your indication there. And with that, uh, typically we have to pay attention to a couple things. First one is the red dot here. Red dot indicates 
volatility compression Paul J. Baird is about to get inside Carlton channel it's telling you hey pay attention something is up so you got to pay attention the first green dot after a series of uh, first green dot after a series of red dots indicates that energy is going to be released and at this time a uh, bollinger band is going to ready to come out of the calton channel that's when you typically you know buy stock or call option but many experienced traders don't wait till the first green dot instead they will look at the waves and see what way stock might react to and buy ahead of the first green dot that typically that works and also you look at um, you know the best squeezes are the ones that are that fire off in the direction of the c wave basically c wave is your holy grail to some extent um, you know you got to look at the c wave and see if it is above zero as as you can see here or below zero if the c wave is above zero when the dot when the red dot is being formed you can be assured uh, it's going to fire on the uh, longer or a bullish direction um you know as you look through this year you know when when this happens you want to buy call option or you can even uh, buy stock itself and if you want to buy call option make sure rsi percentile is uh, below 50 that tells you you know it's a little bit low volatility at this time and it's good to buy call option you're not paying too much money and typically it's good to make sure rsi is below 55 that way stock has more room to run um and also pay attention to how stock has responded uh, to the squeeze in the past so that way you know uh, if the stock is going to go up or go down this time around typically many of these stocks are predictable if it's responded nicely in the past you know the um, chances are it's going to um, respond nicely this time also so that's a quick cheat sheet of uh, ttm squeeze and the wave hope that explains and we'll go into a little more detail here look at few uh, stocks and go from there as you see here i got a few stocks here uh, i what i've done is i've looked at few of these stocks and uh, try to see if they are going to go up or is, if it's a bullish or is it bearish at this time so as you see here at the top we got apple apple is a great stock right now stock price is 148 dollars and it's a 2.4 trillion dollar company it's hard to believe how apple has dominated the industry and the biggest cap market uh, right now biggest market cap stock here and we got sales of 34 billion as you can see here actually three um it's a 347 billion sales that's a huge sales number and they've done nicely from a one year uh, revenue growth and a quarter over quarter growth perspective even this biggest company is still growing that's a good indication they got great gross margin and great net margin here and as you scan through here iv percentile is low that tells you hey you know what coast is clear uh, you're not paying too much for options here rsi is 51 that tells you be a little bit cautious here uh, i'm being overbought at these levels that's what it's telling you and then we got here a, a squeeze a ttm squeeze in the in a 3 day chart earnings is while ago uh, they had just earnings um, a couple of a couple of weeks ago right now we don't need to worry about earnings risk risk yet and stock had done nicely you know for the for one year they have done 26% so it's a 2% off of 52 week high so we could look at apple here let's uh, go back to ttm squeeze chart here quickly um before we go to ttm squeeze chart let's look through here um apple let me say aapl so as we scan through what a lovely chart of apple here i like to see charts like this nice bullish chart here stock price is about 200 day moving average 100 day moving average as well as 50 day moving average it's trying to bounce off of its uh, 100 day moving average as you can see here nice looking chart and as you look through here on the balance volume nicely raising that tells you more people are buying apple stock 
that's a great sign. RSI tells you there is more room to run. As an example, over here, RSI is the top. That's why stock took some beating here. Right now, there's more room to run. Uh, for Apple stock, you could, you could still buy. It's uh, you know a little bit in the middle level at this time. And as you look at the DMI chart, at this point, looks like uh, it's a little bit uh, bearish here with the red line above the green line or blue line. A little bit bearish, but uh, you know, situation might change here. I could see red line flattening and maybe it will go down in a while. And as you look through the volatility, volatility is right now a little bit higher compared to hist historic wall. Even now it's low, IV percentile 20.5. And taking in money flow is telling you smart money is flowing into the stock. So that's a good indication. So overall, from a chart perspective, looks great right now. Let's also look at the TTM squeeze chart here and go from there. From a TTM squeeze chart perspective, we got Apple one year one day chart, which is shorter term and a two year three day chart, a little longer term and a uh, five year weekly chart and a 10 year monthly chart. So as you scan through here, as we talked about, we got here first chart here, lower chart, that's the TTM squeeze chart as you can see here. And second chart is the TTM wave. This is the shorter term A wave. And we got here longer term C wave. So as you scan through here, we got a series of dots forming here. And when these dots are forming, uh, shorter term A wave is below zero. Um, and as you can see, it's turning a little bullish because of this uh, uh, um, yellow bar here that tells you it's a little bullish here. And when this happens, the longer term C wave is above zero. That's why it's a bullish at these levels. And if you look at the apple in the past year, we got a couple more dots forming here. When this is forming, the shorter term C wave is below zero. Longer term A wave is above zero. Coast is clear, stock went up nicely. And also we got here dots forming. When these dots are forming, uh, longer term C wave is above zero. That's why stock went up nicely. And we got here a dot. Uh, when this dot is forming, um, longer term C wave is above zero. Uh, but as you see here, this time around it went up a little bit, then it came down. So that's why you got to pay attention to the shape of the uh, bar here. So as you see your bar is kind of trying to come down here after the squeeze a little bit. So as it approaches and comes down, that's when you have to take off your positions and be ready um, you know, to, to buy later time. Basically, look through here a dot and it's bullish right now. But as the bars go up and come down, as they start making their way down, that's when you have to start taking your positions off the table so that way you protect yourself. So uh, Apple has got a dot in a um, daily chart here. I think you could uh, buy the Apple at these levels by looking at the TTM squeeze indication here and take it from there. And next we'll go back to the PowerPoint slide here. And as you scan through here, we got a couple more things here. We got our favorite Bristol Myers squib here. It's a $69 um, stock here. And it's, it's a great when it comes to oncology and um, cancer type um, treatments here. $69 stock. It's a huge uh, $153 billion market cap. Nice sales. I love the sales growth. Net margin is negative right now, telling you stock, you know, company is not making, you know, money at, at this point yet. And as you scan through here, uh, the RSI is 59, telling you it's a little bit overbought at these levels. And they got a um, squeeze in a weekly chart. Earnings is a little bit later. We don't need to worry. And stock has been doing nicely, slow and steady, as you can see here. So with that, let's go back to TTM uh, chart here to see what's going on with the stock here. And before I go to TTM squeeze, let me go to a you know, different chart first and say BMY. So BMY, as you see here, this is one of those steady eddy stocks. You know, it's a good one for your retirement accounts. Um, your stock goes up nicely, as you can see here. Clearly, stock is above its 200-day uh, moving average, 
above its 100 day moving average and also above 25 day moving average trying to bounce off of its 25 day moving average as you can see here and nice looking on the balance volume i, th I love this uh, people are buying the stock smart money is buying the stock and as you scan through here uh, rsi perspective a little bit overbought at this time but i think still more room to run as an example here it's completely overbought that's why stock came down as you can see here but at this point you're good it's got a little more room to run um, and from a dmi perspective stock is bullish the blue line is above red line that tells you stock is bullish at this time historic volatility um, and implied wall i think they are almost the dead heat right now IV percentile is 18 that tells you you can buy call option even up here and taking money flow is telling you smart money is a little bit flat right now um, you know no need to worry too much um, we are good to go and as, as we look at the squeeze chart here from john carter we got bunch of uh, red dots um, forming in a daily chart here um, and this is this indicates right now there's a tight compression of volatility Bollinger Band is within Carlton, Ch Carlton Channel and it's uh, telling you hey market is about shift to see which direction it's going to go that's where that's when you have to come to a longer term C wave longer term C wave is telling you it's going to go higher and the shorter term A wave is also telling you it's going to go higher so with that uh, you could uh, buy um, some uh, Bristol Meyer stock here and as you scan through here, we got a two-year, three-day chart, same story. We got red dots forming. And when this is happening, as you can see here, the longer-term C wave is above zero. That's a bullish sign. And even shorter-term A wave is above zero. And we also have a dot forming in a weekly chart here. When this is forming, shorter-term A wave is above zero. Longer-term C wave is also above zero coast is clear you could uh, buy call or stock or, uh, call or stock itself and we got here dots forming in the week monthly chart here when this is happening we got here ttm wave uh, nicely on, uh, higher on the a wave shorter term and the c wave is also higher bristol myers um, coast is clear from all uh, um, you know the shorter term medium term longer term perspective i would buy some stock or call option so let's uh, go back to um, a uh, option chain here and put ttm squeeze and i mean bristol myers as i look through here i'll just quickly expand this here it's a 69 dollar stock at this time it's at uh, it's uh, above 52 week high so that's why some some folks think you know it may not go higher but we got the indication from TTM squeeze, coast is clear. So with that in mind, we can go here. I would go maybe 116 days out here and I would look at uh, around current stock price. Right now it's $69.20. So you could do one thing. If you want to buy call off outright, you could look at Delta 70. So Delta 70 puts you up right here. 69 is good. This is telling you uh, for every move in the stock price, if you buy this call option, call option will move by 69 cents. So with that, let's uh, go here and buy a call option here. You're paying $5.79 to buy a call option expiring on 17 December 2021. So if you confirm and send here, so you're buying this call option, paying $5.75 for controlling 100, 100 stocks. And your break even point is 70.75. It's just above current stock price. Um, and your max profit is infinite as Bristol Myers stock goes up. For every dollar move, your stock option will go up by 69 cents, indicated by the Delta 69 here. And you know, with this, uh, you know, you could maximum you could lose is what you paid for, which is $535. Yes, you could confirm and send this. Uh, I think this is a great trade. And if you don't want to pay 575 or you have a smaller account size, you could do a $10 wide spread. I would probably do 6575 spread here. 
so with that um, let's do 65 75 spread by vertical 65 and 75 there you go so you're doing a ten dollar wide spread here you're paying 470 uh, you know instead of 550 or so you're paying 470 uh, it's uh, you know not a big difference so if you do a, a spread like this uh, as you see here your break even point now is a little bit lower your max profit is capped which is a 530 your max loss is also um, capped which is 470 what would you paid so this is a little conservative way to play if your account size is a little smaller and a third way to play if your account size is even smaller or you don't want to put too much money to risk is to go with the 67.5, 72.5, this $5 wide spread. So you could do something like this. You could say buy um, vertical spread, 67.5 and 72.5. So you could, if you do this, it's a little more conservative. You are paying $2.29. It's a $5 wide spread. You'll more than double your money. And if I confirm and send here, you are paying 229 to make 271 so it's a more, more double more than double your money type play here and your money that you put to risk is a little bit less 229 and your break even point is 69.79 this is another way to play for you who don't want to put too much money to risk or you have a lower account size and you do want to allocate too much money into this one trade so with that, uh, let's look at a few more ideas and go from there. So I got here a few more stocks here, Alcoa, Aluminium play. Looks like Aluminium is uh, going higher of late. As you see here, $37 stock, nice uh, $7 billion market cap and nice sales. And they got nice sales growth as you can see here. And gross margin is uh, 19%, net margin is 4%. As we scan through here, we got uh, squeeze forming in daily chart and a three-day chart. Earnings is a little bit later. And I think stock has been doing nicely off late. Um, IV, IV percentile is 17. Tells you it's low. You're not paying too much money for options. And RSI is 44. That tells you stock has still more room to run. It's not oversold, overbought yet. So right now, let's uh, go to Alcoa here. And I will go to a smaller chart to begin with. Alcoa. As you scan through here, stock has done nicely uh, in the past. Right now, it's uh, below its uh, 200 day moving average. It's trying to make a comeback, as you can see here. Anytime stock has dropped like this in the past, it always came up, as you can see here. Uh, it has gone below 200 day moving average a couple of times, but came back up nicely. And as you see here, nice looking um, um, on the balance volume is telling you right now folks are trying to buy Alcoa and profit from its uh, decline and bouncing back. RSI tells you stock is completely sold out at this time. You know, whenever this happens, it's always good to buy Alcoa. Historically, it's uh, gone up. And if you look at the DMI chart here, what do you expect, right? I mean, DMI perspective, the red line is above blue line. Right now at this point, uh, it's telling you it's bearish. That, that's what happens when stock tanks like this. And as you scan through here, um, implied volatility is low, it's, it wants to go down. This is when you don't uh, pay too much money for the options because IV rank is low. And check-in money flow is indicating it's coming out but this happens when a stock drops like this. Um, I think it's a good indication so far. Now let's go into uh, a TTM squeeze chart here and look at Alcoa. As you look through here, we got a dot here and we got uh, two red, uh, two uh, green bars uh, happening here. So what this is telling you is really at this point, when the red dot formed, that's when um, Bollinger Band went inside the Kelton channel. Market is telling you, hey, you know what? Uh, something is up. Market is uh, planning to shift the direction. And when that happened, I think uh, st stock came down as you can see here. But now we got the green dot telling you coast is clear. And when that happens, when you looked at the uh, longer term C wave, 
uh, light blue bars above zero that tells you coast is clear and also on the shorter term C wave uh, the bullish uh, yellow bar is above zero so it's telling you hey coast is clear go buy stock or call option and we also have a dot forming in the weekly chart here when that happens the shorter term wave is barely a barely in between here right now negative as you can see here but the longer term c wave is about zero the tells you coast is clear go by alcoa and as you see here there's nothing going on in the longer term monthly chart but as you see here you can see um, it's a longer term c wave is about zero at this time so it tells you a coast is clear and you can buy alcoa so with that let's uh, go into a option chain here Alcoa $37 stock it's gone as high as 45 there is more room to run as you can see here and I would probably look at a little bit longer term 151 days out so if you want to buy a call option you could uh, probably look at Delta 70 as we always do we got here nice Delta 70 so what you can do is um, with the Delta 70 for every dollar stock moves call option goes by 70 cents that's good you could buy outright here you pay seven dollars and 45 cents and buy a call option with the strike price 34 which is below current price this is a conservative way to play and you could confirm and send so as you see here you're paying 745 your profit potential is infinite every dollar stock moves your option moves by 70 cents and um, as you can see here your break-even price is 41.45 a uh, couple of dollars uh, beyond current stock price your betting stock will go above this break-even point by january 2022 so you could confirm and send this but if you don't want to uh, buy option outright you could also buy a spread here stock is at 37 if you have a smaller account you could do 35 40 spread so with that you could go here 35 40 it's a five dollar wide spread as you can see here there you go so if you do this you're paying 220 as you can see here and it's a five dollar wide spread a remaining portion of uh, five dollar wide spread that is uh, 270 uh, or 280 is your profit potential so you are making uh, you are more than doubling your money so if I confirm and send here you are paying 220 to make 280 so it's a more than double your money proposition here you could uh, confirm and send and go from there so with this your break even point comes below current stock price here that's why it's conservative um, so your betting stock will stay above 3720 uh, by um, by expiration date which is 21 January a little more conservative strategy but if you want to put a little more money to work you could also do a $10 wide spread so as you see your stock price is 3775 so you could do um, I would say um, 35 a 45 spread if you want so if you do 35 45 spread here there you go um, so you're paying three dollars and 81 cents for this spread your break even point is a little bit above the current stock price uh, so as you see here this is also um, around more than around doubling your money uh, not quite but something along those lines and you're paying $381 to make uh, you know 619 it's actually more than doubling your money you could go with this um, your max loss is 381 your max profit is uh, 3 619 your break even point is 38.81 which is a little bit above the current stock price if you want to be a little more conservative you can even do a little differently you could do 33 43 uh, that could be even a little conservative so you could do 33 and 43 and if you do here you're paying 460 and remaining portion of ten dollars is your profit potential if you confirm and send this year you're paying 460 to make 540 as you can see now your break-even point came below the current stock price 
that's why this is a little more conservative um, you could uh, you know confirm and send this so with that let's uh, go back into um, our uh, chart here I got a couple more stocks here we got Boston scientific here um, it's one of the great uh, device uh, medical device company $44 stock nice sales growth as you can see here fundamentally sound company and RSI is uh, IV percentile is 11 tells you you could even buy stock options cheap from an IV percentile perspective and RSI is 52 still low enough you can still buy and stock is uh, down 4% from 52 week high so with that you could uh, buy some Boston scientific at these levels and let's go back to think of swim here we can say BSX Boston scientific and we could go to our chart here so as you can see here this is also a nice looking chart steady eddy um, as you can see a stock comes down at times but uh, promptly goes back up again and as you scan through here um, nice looking on the balance volume tells you smart money is flowing in and uh, from an RSI perspective RSI is 52 middle of the range uh, at the top here it tells you hey watch out stock came down promptly but right now it's got more room to grow and from a DMI perspective right now at this point the blue line is below red line it's a bearish uh, at this point but distance is not too much it's not uh, greatly bearish mildly bearish at this time and historic wall is above implied wall tells you you're not paying too much money uh, for call options if you want to buy call options and uh, check-in money flow is telling you smart money is flowing into the stock so that way overall looks good now let's go into TTM squeeze indicator as you scan through here we got a dot forming in a weekly chart as you see here and as when this happens the shorter term A wave is above zero longer term C wave is also above zero and we also got dot forming in a monthly chart when this happened both shorter term as well as longer term uh, shorter term C A wave and longer term C wave are, are about zero that tells you coast is clear uh, you could uh, buy stock call option and it looks like there is also dot forming here um, and as you can see here the longer term C wave is about zero looks like for BSX coast is clear let's go to <clears throat> option chain here and see what's going on so as you look through the option chain here um, $44 stock it has gone as high as 46 uh, in 52 weeks um, and as you see here right now um, we could go somewhere around uh, 44 here and you know you could uh, you could look at maybe 40 50 spread for this one but if you want to buy call option outright you could look at delta <clears throat> 70 here i think this one is good delta 71 you could just buy this delta 71 call option and you're paying seven dollars and 35 cents if you confirm and send here um, as you see here you're paying 735 to make profit as stock goes up every move this stock goes makes your call option will go up by or down by 71 cents that's why delta is uh, 0.71 and as you look through here you're paying 735 your break even point is uh, 47.35 three dollars above current stock price and your buying power effect is 735 that's the maximum you can lose this is one way to play and if you don't want to uh, allocate so much money into this stock or this this option you could do a spread here so if you want to do spread uh, it's a 44 you could do 40 50 spread <clears throat> so with that you could do 40 and vertical buy 40 50 there you go so if you do 40 50 spread here you're paying 568 as you can see here um, and you're making 432 so you're not quite doubling your money but as you see here your break even point has come down a little bit here so you're paying 568 to make 432 so this is one way to play but if you want to be a little bit aggressive uh, you could uh, do a little differently um, or you could also do a little smaller spread 
you know, for example, if you want to do a smaller spread here, stock being at 44, uh, you could do, um, as you see here, 42 and 47. So if you do 42, 47 here, there you go. It's a $5 wide spread here. You're paying 264 and the remaining portion of $5 is your uh, profit potential. You're you know, not quite doubling your money. You're paying 264, making to 236. Look what happened to your break-even point. Your break-even point has come down a little bit. It's just above current stock price. So it's a little bit conservative play. You're not paying too much money, but at the same time, you're part participating in the stock moving higher, but your max, max profit is capped because you're doing a spread. So with that, uh, this is one way to play. And we'll go into the you know PowerPoint here again. And I have highlighted a few more here. We got Coles here, a retail play, and we got um, EMB, which is a um, which is a um, ETF here. And as you scan through, I got one more page here. You can look through here, and there are a few good stocks. Uh, probably we'll look at one more uh, stock here. We got um, some bond here again, an ETF. And as you scan through here, um, we've got some great stocks here. I would probably look at uh, one of these stocks. Let's uh, look through here. Um, we got iShares, uh, Hartford. Uh, probably look at this one here, Western Union. Western Union is a $21 stock. Um, nice sales growth. I like the sales growth. IV percentile is 22, which is low enough for us. RSI is 29, still more room to run, and it's uh, down 19% from 52-week high. Let's look at Western Union and see if it's worth uh, buying at these levels. All right, so if I go to a chart here, Western Union, clearly this stock is in a bearish territory right now. As you can see here, um, we have longer term a 200 day moving average on the top, 100 day moving average next, and then we got here a 25 day moving average. Stock is below all these moving averages. That tells you stock is in a bearish territory right now. And, and on the balance volume is pretty stable, or a little bit um, down, I guess. But that tells you, um, you know, as the stock is going down, on the balance volume is a little stabler compared to stock coming down. And also with the check in money flow telling you smart money is moving into the stock. That tells you it's a better sign here. RSI is completely oversold. It happened back here. Then that happened and you know, afterwards stock went up. This will be the same story right now. RSI tells you stock is completely oversold. Um, we can probably buy at these levels. And DMI, it tells you at this time it's completely bearish with the red line above a blue line distance is pretty significant and ADX is going up that tells you right now stock is completely bearish and implied wall is low as you can see here going down that tells you for the options you're not paying too much money so with that uh, let's jump into a different chart here a squeeze chart so as you can see here we got uh, I'm trying to squint here we got a squeeze forming here the monthly chart when this is happening, as you see here, the longer term um, C wave is about zero. That's when you can, uh, you know, it's telling you you can buy uh, the stock or call option at these levels. So with that, let's go into a option chain here, Western Union. So as you see, I would probably go 151 days out. Stock is at $21.61. All time high is $26.61. More, more room to grow. So I would probably look at Delta 70 options. So as you see here, we got Delta 69, that's good enough. Here you're paying $2.25, not too much money. So you could control 100, 100 stocks by buying this call option here, paying 225. Confirm and send, you're paying $225. And every dollar stock moves, your call option moves by 69 cents. And your break-in point is uh, 22, 25. If the stock moves about 20, 22, 25 by 21 Jan, you will make money. You could confirm and send this, 
and if you don't want to do this way outright which is i would say it's the best strategy here you're not paying too much money you could also do a spread game here stock being at 21 you could probably do um say 18 23 spread here so you could do 18 23 and vertical spread there you go this is a little more conservative strategy but as you can see you're paying too much money it's not worth it um, or you could even do 19 um, 24 since so this is a little bit better but you're paying 265 um, and your max profit is uh, your profit potential is a little bit less than double. You could do something along these lines also, but you know, with the with the option being cheap at delta seventy, um, you know, as you can see here, delta seventy, uh, somewhere here, delta sixty nine. It's just two dollar twenty five cents. I would buy this uh, call option outright instead of doing a spread because it's a low price stock. So with that, uh, let's uh, go back here. And this is the entire list here. You could you could look at some many of these stocks in the same way and uh, buy stock outright or buy call option. So with that, thank you very much. Happy investing and trading. Please subscribe.